So my name is Mark Braithwaite. Um, I'm a technical specialist at Wolfram Research Europe. Um, my job title is rather interesting because it doesn't really give anything away. Um, my job is to learn the technology that we have and present that capabilities to others, either in training sessions or presentations like I did today. Yeah, so essentially the talk was a live demonstration to show, as you just said, that um, AI and machine learning, whilst our you know, real big buzzwords at the moment, are just a few steps away. Um, within five or ten minutes you can get started, whether you've got no coding experience or you've been coding for many years. Um, the idea is that given the right access to tools, you should be able to get started, retrieve your data, create your classifier or prediction function, um, deploy those results and actually use them for a real life example in just a few minutes. It shouldn't take the several days of development work which some projects do tend to take. Um, the live demonstration part of that was to then prove that and really iterate that it doesn't take much to actually get started. A few, three or four lines of code, um, a bit of patience and you can actually have a working example which you can deploy to the web and have people use in moments. I would say that is the most exciting part of my position is that whole discovery section is really saying okay well we have the capabilities to do machine learning we can do image processing and we can work with connected devices let's try putting this machine learning on a Raspberry Pi and letting it into getting it to tell me where my boss is going to walk around the corner that kind of fun little thing I get to do fun simple little projects with people which people at work look at me and are like well that doesn't seem to make much sense but then when suddenly a project comes along from a client I can turn around and say well I've actually done that and here's a working example already. Um, I know what we're capable of. Yes, we can integrate with that system. Yes, we can pull information directly from your database. You know, it, by actually getting stuck in with the language and finding out what it can and cannot do, I then become a fount of knowledge for everyone else. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an exciting thing. It means I get to do things which I can imagine the average person doesn't get to do on their day in the office, like flying a drone or playing around with a, ra a Raspberry Pi or playing with a little robot that just follows people around because that's what I wanted it to do that day. Mm -hmm. Um, having these fun little exploratory sessions is, is, is brilliant, it's my favourite part of the, my job. The idea that data is, start, try, people are trying to make data more open and more available to other people, um, especially from businesses, governments, that kind of thing. And by actually having access to those data sources, you can start doing um, incredible other things with t which with this technology that's also being built in order to come up with things that like products or ideas and technologies that people wouldn't all have been able to access have access to simply because some gentleman in I'd know it um, government has worked on a particular project it didn't work but now we suddenly have access to that person's results we can find out why it didn't work and possibly drive it further one of the things that um, I'm particularly passionate about at the moment is healthcare data. Understandably, you know, there's the worries about keeping things nice and secure and safe, and that's understandable. However, as I've discussed with various other technology companies, if that information was open, some of the things we could do with machine learning and AI would suddenly become incredible. You know, we'll be able to predict and assist with patient workflows, for example, which could help the NHS in some way, hopefully. We've, pre we've previously done a study with the National Health Service in England proving that it wasn't the number of staff on the ward at the time that was attributing to slips, trips and falls, it was actually how well trained those staff were. So you could reduce staffing numbers as long as they were of higher, quality, higher level staff. It's those kind of things which aren't always obvious, but by having the open data source and the access to other te new technologies, you can combine things in incredible ways, especially with like the identifying of cancer by, from capsule endoscopy access to the new technology plus open data. You can make some incredible stuff.